Hi Gemini, this is going to be a career reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. If you would like to win a free reading, information is going to be down below. If you would like to book a private reading, information will be down below. And if you would like to check out my bracelets, which are on Etsy, on Etsy then that will also be linked down below. So Gemini, career-wise, let's see what is happening. Oh my god. Okay, so I was just thinking about the Sagittarius reading that I just did and I was like, you know, the, the Lovers has been coming out quite a bit. And I was literally thinking that right now because the Lovers is ruled by Gemini and we got the Lovers. And I didn't say it because I was like, oh, it would be a really big shame, obviously, if that card didn't come out in the reading. But I should have said it because I was thinking about it and here it is. So if you haven't seen the, the Sagittarius reading, highly recommend. Um, I was just thinking about what an amazing reading that was. Um, so if you have Sagittarius in your chart, anywhere in your chart, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, definitely check that reading out because it was mind-blowing. And also, um, The Lovers came out and I was thinking about that reading because it was the last reading I did before I jumped on and did this one. Boy, oh boy, I should have just, I should have just said that I was thinking about The Lovers card and it literally came out, so... I love it when this happens. I really do. This is your energy. Does anything else want to come out? Yeah, cool. Okay, um, so we have got... You guys need to see the Sagittarius reading because we've got a few repeating cards from that reading. So the other two repeating cards from the Sagittarius reading were... The Four of Wands and the Sun card. And I know that this is a Gemini reading, but when I feel like messages are going to cross over, I always like to refer you to another reading as well, just because you may be able to get additional information from that reading and it will double up, essentially. So that has been happening quite a lot on my channel where I'll be like, guys, you know, this other reading is, is very similar in message, so maybe you might be able to get a few additional messages through cards. So... We've got the Lovers, we've got the Four of Wands, we've got the Sun card, we've got the Strength card. Got two cards here ruled by Leo. Um, maybe worth seeing the Leo reading as well as I'm just looking as to what the Leo reading was about because I always write down what these readings um, have in terms of messages and I'm feeling like it's probably worth watching the Leo reading. Ten of Cups. Um, some of these cards also came out in the Aries reading as well. Really high in fire, in the fire, in the fire signs. So if you do have fire in your chart, highly recommend watching um, as many as the fire sign readings as you can in terms of career. So there's only three other ones: there's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, obviously for career for June 2019. But Highly recommend because messages are, are crossing over. Okay, so you've got the King of Cups, you've got the Ten of Cups, and you've got the Two of Cups, and then we also have, sorry, the Two of Swords and the Two of Cups. Did I say the Two of Cups before I said that? Okay, anyways. So what I'm seeing is that there has been this struggle inside for a little while, where some of you have been quite confused about your path, confused about the journey essentially as to what it is that, you know, where your career is going to take you, what you're going to do. Um, for some of you, you know, perhaps you're in a, you were in a career situation or still are in a career situation that you just feel a little bit trapped inside of, because I'm recording this in May, so I always pick up sometimes on current energies and then I like to look at June energies, so, you know, present and future. I'm not doing this in June, otherwise I would just pick up June energy. But I like to do it in May so that I can actually pick up June energy as well as the struggle currently. So for a lot of you, I do see that there's a struggle in your path where some of you feel very indecisive. And this tends to be a Gemini trait. And this, this trait is actually quite a good one because I do think that you're able to weigh up two sides, maybe sometimes a little bit too much, but you're able to weigh up two sides and sometimes I feel like that can be a detriment as well as a good thing. It can be a good thing because you're able to see two sides of something and you're able to sort of do like a pros and cons. But sometimes it just leads to overthinking and in fact can lead to even more confusion. So 
that's essentially what I do see right now is that there is that confusion in terms of your career, just not knowing, you know, if you're in the right place, if you're going to get to the right place. But what I'm seeing is that you can manifest getting to that right place. And that manifestation happens with that four of wands. However, you also need to hold and have strength because you see the strength here is very important because it will allow you to tame those fears. I feel like sometimes your fears get the best of you and really what needs to happen is just, you know, being strong and being able to be like, you know what, yes, it's a risk, but if it's one that you feel is worth worth taking, you know, just to see how it, you know, see how it pans out, then maybe it is a risk worth taking. Maybe, you know, if you're in a situation right now where your career is not going that great for you, or you feel stuck, or you feel indecisive, maybe that's a risk that can really open up for you. And I'm seeing for a lot of you, you know, that risk to perhaps move and do something else, whether that's starting your own business or working for someone else, can really pay off because it will make you feel much happier, I feel. So again, this is going to resonate, of course, with a certain portion of people. But what I'm seeing is that there's this hardship that some of you have gone through that is going to lead you to become even stronger. And what this is going to allow you to do is it's, allow, it's going to allow you to manifest what it is that you really want. A lot of you are going to be creating boundaries. Like I see with this four of wands that there's these, you know, there's this pillars, there's these boundaries and a lot of you want to be able to establish those so that you're not taken advantage of or you don't feel confused or conflicted in any way, shape or form. I'm also seeing that this is the card of manifestation. So a lot of you, you know, may in June have manifested what it is in your career that you really want. For some of you, you may find the job that, you know, makes you feel happy, stable, secure, emotionally fulfilled, like these two cards. So that's what I'm seeing. So, you know, with this four of wands, a lot of you may be seeing repeating numbers just here, there, everywhere, you know, like 11, 11 or 14, 14 or 21, 12, you know, like 2, 1, 1, 2. So a lot of you may be seeing repeating numbers. It's, it's a sign that your law of attraction, whatever it is that you want to attract in your life is starting to come forward. It's starting to come through. It's going to make you much happier. And essentially, it's it's what you've worked hard for. A lot of you have worked really, really hard only to then feel quite confused, which is really disheartening. But what I'm seeing in June is that there's this ability to really rise above and feel very, very strong within with this Leo energy. And also, June is going to make you feel much more warm, much more happier, is going to make you feel much stronger. I know, just I was laughing in my mind when I said warm, because, you know, in some areas of the world, it is going to be spring, summer. And so essentially, yes you know if the sun comes out you will feel warm so there's that but not necessarily because not everybody for not everyone is it's going to be spring you know spring summer but essentially it's going to allow you to feel much more joyful much more excited and it's going to allow a lot of growth in your life so there's definitely something coming towards you which is going to promote a lot of growth in your life for some of you you may set up your own business again or you may choose to work for someone else but I'm definitely seeing a lot of growth a lot of happiness and a lot of emotional fulfillment as well just with this ten of cups card a lot of emotional fulfillment that will then feed into other areas of your life because you'll feel so happy within that you know it will it will affect other areas of your life you know how sometimes people really hate their careers and they come home from work and they're just they're down they you know and they don't feel that great and it feels feeds into how they then perhaps treat other people or how they feel within their friendships and you know it, it doesn't feel great but this is going to feed really nicely and positively into lots of areas of your life take advantage of June Take advantage of the fact that you can manifest something for June and I think that's why this reading is getting posted in May is because I think a lot of you have time to really be able to gain that strength, to be able to, you know, perhaps look for other opportunities, to do some research if you want to set up a business, you know, you have that time because in June, you know, things will start to manifest according to how you have, you know, worked hard in, in accordance to what it is that you also want in life and how you have been able to work hard for it. So the lovers here is about just, you know, knowing in your heart that, you know, this is exactly what you want to do. You will be gifted very nicely um, by, by the universe is what I'm seeing, especially with this four of wands, because this is like that divine timing. Everything happens in divine timing. Things come together in divine timing. So you will be getting an offer essentially and it's going to be a really beautiful balance between you and your career. You're going to feel like you're well supported by your career but that your career is also teaching you something. So it's like you're having a relationship with your career but it's going to feel really balanced. There's going to be again a lot of you know 
beautiful things blooming and growing. There's a lot of experience, a lot of things you will learn. And with it comes, you know, good maturity and this love for your career as well. And really spiritual and emotional and help, helpful. Sorry, not helpful, but helpful, but also healthy is what I meant. You know, mentally and emotionally, it's going to be a very healthy. And also physically for a lot of you, it's going to be a healthy sort of love that you have for your career. And I'm seeing that again with this Two of Cups. So we've got, you know, these three, four, four cards about really loving your career and feeling really positive towards your career as well. You know, not just the lovers, but also the Two of Cups emotionally, you know, very, very healthy, much better than the Two of Swords. And then this Ten of Cups again, you know, that emotional happiness, fulfillment, and with the King of Cups, feeling like you're in power, you know, using your emotions to your your strengths, you know, and having that and feeding that through and knowing that it's a good thing to be that way. So essentially, Gemini, what I'm seeing is that this is an incredibly positive reading. You know, if there's something you want to manifest in your life, you know, work hard for it and you will see that it will start to manifest. And June is such a good time astrologically for you as well, where things can manifest. And I've seen that also with, you know, Sagittarius very very strongly, Aries as well and also Leo so I'm seeing that again for you as well astrologically things are looking very very good and you know work hard keep going try and figure out what it is that you want in your life also long term and see those things come towards you you know it's, it's going to be positive it's going to make you feel good and um yeah, let me know in the comment section below how this reading resonates with you. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. I just already said that, but anyways. Um, um, yeah, thank you so much to everyone for 13,000 subscribers. It's so exciting. And also, don't forget to check out the description box below for paid private reading information and also the free reading giveaway I'm doing if you'd like to win a free reading. And my bracelets are down there as well. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.